This is a practice exam three, question number 15. How many subshells are possible in the third principal energy level? The third principal energy level means n equals three. Okay, it is this down. Okay, so n equals three. Now, if n equals three, the allowed L values will be zero, one, two. All right, because the maximum value for L is n minus one, and now n equals three, so that we can only have zero, one, and two. We will have only three L values. Okay. Each L value represent a orbital. Okay. So L equals zero. There should be an S orbital or S subshell. L equals one. That should be P subshell. And then L equals two. That should be D subshell. So therefore, for n equals 3, then you will have s, p, and d. That's 3. 3 subshells. Okay? And these 3, as I just uh, mentioned, s, p, and d. So that's these 3 subshells. Because n equals 3. Third principal energy level means n equals three. Okay, so and if n equals three, as I just mentioned a while ago, the allowed L value can be zero, can be one, can be two. That's it. And then zero is S subshell, one is a P subshell. And L equals 2 is the D subshell. So therefore, we have only 1, 2, 3 subshells. That's question number 15.